Yes, 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 who got brands talking? Brandlife.co.za Good afternoon and welcome to Love and Relationship on Brand Live Radio Station. This is an exciting show that speaks about matters of the heart. So relax and enjoy the show. Um, today I will be talking about how to find true love. And I'm here in the studio with my true love. Um, her name is Emilia <laughs> Ndun. Um, Emilia, say hi. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, today I really want to, you know, start by a question which someone asked me during one of our events. Someone once asked me, what does true love look like? And um, my answer was that true love looks like something that can satisfy. Because you, if you say you have true love and you're still looking for some other person, it means that love is not true. You're not satisfied. So the way I could describe true love was something that satisfies you, something that you want more of it, something that, you know, keeps you going. That is true love. But today I will start by asking what really is love in a relationship? Is it the sexual feelings one has towards someone or is it an attraction that one has towards someone or is it a feeling of gratitude one may have towards someone who benefits him or her? Or is it a feeling of dependency one has towards someone that is available to care for him or her? Or is it a satisfaction one has through knowing and understanding someone's character that fits into his or her life? I believe love is more of a satisfaction than a feeling. And the beginning of love in a relationship should be when you know the character of someone that seems to fit into your life. Character is the main thing that can satisfy for a lifetime. Every other thing can fade with time. Things like good physical looks and material gains may not last for a lifetime. A wise man once said that in Proverbs 31.30, he said, Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. So I believe that favor speaks about the possessions of a person, which includes wealth and riches, and beauty speaks about the good physical looks of a person. But, you know, the Bible says that neither of them is sufficient to build a good relationship except the fear of God. And as we all know, the fear of God makes up the good character of a person. Whoever truly fears God in one place will always fear him wherever the person is. So this validates the fact that the choices made on a good character will always outlast choices made based on emotional feelings. So a true and lasting love relationship is based on compatibility. And compatibility, to me, is the beginning of a lasting relationship. You cannot find love unless you find the right person who is compatible with you. Anybody who does not believe in love has never found the right person who is compatible with him or her because I believe love is real. Love in a relationship is a choice, especially when the relationship will lead to marriage. You cannot choose to marry someone mainly because the person is beautiful or handsome without considering their character because that will be like buying a product from the shop just because of the good packaging of the product without considering the content. Example, you know, of a physical attraction relationship I, I have is, uh, is the story of uh, Samson and Delilah, which I found in the Bible. You know, it speaks about the love that Samson had for Delilah, which I believe was majorly based on physical attraction. So my story today is that true love is based on compatibility. It's based on character compatibility. And, you know, someone asked me the other time and said, so do you mean we have to like the same things? We have to, you know, be compatible in everywhere? I said, no. I believe that there are fundamental things that one has to be compatible with. You know, one of them is you have to be compatible with the lifestyle of the person. You have to be compatible with the spiritual aspects, you know, of the person, the spiritual beliefs of the person. And, you know, you also have to be compatible with the vision of the person, the future of the person, where the person is going, because the career and whatever the person wants to become is very important. So I believe that, you know, trying to relate with someone without character compatibility can be likened to buying a beautiful shoe you love, which is not your size. And, you know, in the case of a shoe, you may 
return it back to Woolworth or wherever you bought it and you get a refund but you know if you are if you've been married <laughs> to the person you cannot refund the person for a refund so this is a very crucial matter and i i i believe that it is something that is going to impact a lot of people out there and uh, we are open to your questions and um you know calling in to ask us questions on this matter so this is character compatibility is the main quality to look out for in someone you would love to spend your life with because um this is very important you know character does not change easily but you see the beauty you go after and the things you stand to gain they can change the economy is changing and then you know i mean things happen to people's looks and then what are you going to do and uh, i always believe that if someone really goes after someone because of the looks then the person is bound to find a better look some other time to replace the the current look, look you know he or she has so um we'll be going on a, a short break and then when we come back um we're going to have a discussion with my guest here um Emilia Ndon Emilia is a singer she's a gospel artist and um you know she's also a, a woman that can share her experience and love and relationship thank you in your face all over the place Warrior Online 24/7 24/7 You're listening to the hottest internet station Grand Live No doubt <laughs> You're listening to brandlive.co.za. Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow. You. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Cuz our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za. You're listening to brandlive.co.za. Welcome back to Love and Relationship. My name is Ndon and I'm here with Emilia who happens to be my true love. <laughs> and um today we want to be very practical. Um I think they say charity begins at home, so I decided to come with my wife to <laughs> let's share our own experience and um, how we found our true love. So I can start with myself. Um to say how did i find my true love uh, i remember some years ago um i think about 2002 um well just by the way we've been married for about 13 years now and um i i think this love is real and <laughs> i've i've experienced it. it it makes me feel good all the time so um i met amelia through a friend who introduced her to me um sometime you know about 2002 or so Um well it was in the night so I, I did not really see the beauty she she radiates Are you sure You know <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you know um but I saw something that captivated me it was um a, a character of respect she had In fact she greeted me in a way that you know I thought she was uh, a lady from another country that you know was flown in there I didn't know she stays in the neighborhood I did not think she's from the neighborhood you know um it's her character that captivated me i can say that i know when i go to visit some friends and they look at her and she looks very pretty and beautiful they say to me are you sure is really the character or something else i say to them listen guys i met her in the night at least i didn't see her face well um but and this even happened that even the next day when i saw her i could not recognize her because i did not see her face properly so um the truth is that i saw something in her that captivated me it was um a, a respect she had for people you know and the way she treated other people so i i said no i think this is um a woman that i will like to relate with so we started the relationship and um i found out that no this is the best person for me and i believe that i could make that decision based on you know what i saw the character i saw so that's when i came to a point where i believe that character compatibility is very important so but i will allow her to tell us a little bit of how she was sure that i'm the true love except <laughs> she still has another person you know on ground 
So, uh, Amelia, what can you say? Well, I would say that in the beginning, I mean, when in my early teenage years, um, I did not really think love exists without money. I thought money makes lives, I mean, makes complete love. So I've tried uh, looking for money, but I did not find satisfaction. So when I met you and I met my husband, um, I don't know, people say there is love at first sight, though I don't really believe in love at first sight, but there was connection at first sight. Okay. When <laughs> okay, that's good to hear. <laughs> and you enjoy that. <laughs> so there was connection at first sight. And in fact, to be precise, the next day, I mean, after the friend introduced me to him and say, this is so, 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 this is his house, he stays here. The next day when I pass by, we met at night when I passed the same road. I actually looked at the house to see if he is there so I could check him out. If, you know, mm. if it's, uh, you know, it's a good material. If he has material. the money, he has the <laughs> no, money. No, not really money. Okay. At that point, it was just to see how it, he looks like, who he really is, and see if I could get to know him. But um, when I got to know him, I discovered that what I really was looking for in a man was not um, just the look. Yes, I was also particular about a good-looking guy, though, I mean, he has all the qualities. Mm, um, but, I got <laughs> <laughs> but I got to know that um, love was more than the looks. Mm. It was more than the money. It was... It was it it it's a complete package that balance um, character that balance satisfaction that balance that feeling that just make you it's not really the butterfly I think it's it's a completion of the character and the way the person makes you feel mm -hmm. you know I've been where there was money but to be honest with you I was treated like hey I mean I don't exist I mean he was mm -hmm. a provider what could you say mm -hmm. so but I I I felt at home when when I met my husband. Okay, and but that was not your... You were not married then. This is your first marriage, so the viewer, the, the <laughs> listeners do, do <laughs> not think that... <laughs> that. <laughs> do not think that that was your first marriage. No, 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 I was not. I was not married. It was it's just a relationship. Okay. Uh, hoping to get married. It was, it was just okay. a relationship okay. that I thought there was a future, mm. but I discovered that it was not, I mean, not all that glitter, mm. they say is gold. So when I eventually decided, when my husband proposed and I decided to go ahead with it, I mean, I've never looked back. It's been 13 years and I mean, it still feels like we're just starting. So really, true love, uh, really I think exists. it does exist, mm. but mm. you should look beyond money, look beyond the physical appearances because really those things fade away. I mean, mm. I mean, mm. women will say he's cute mm. and guys mm. will say, who is God? I mean, yellow bone, he's got the curves in all the right places. Mm. But really, mm. if a woman is mm. as beautiful as an, uh, is it a dove eye, they say, or eagle, one of those eyes that is beautiful. Mm. If a woman is as beautiful as that and you cannot stay in the same same house. I mean, she does not have a good character. I promise you, you will not even see the beauty. Mm -hmm. That is why some men stay late night with friends, hang out at the bar till morning because there is always fire on the mountain. I mean, if you cannot have peace at home, where are you going to have the mm -hmm. peace? Mm -hmm. I really think, you know, one of the main questions we ask people is this. What are you looking for in a man? If, if you're a lady who's looking to have a relationship with a man, someone you want to marry, what really are you looking for? Because you see, a lot of people do not know what they're looking for. They, they're simply looking for what other people say it's needed. You know, it's what you should look for. These days, the, the media, the TV, the movies have you discipled a lot of people and make them look for the wrong things. Six pack. Yeah, so you see, but <laughs> six pack is not going to give you the love that you need. So we, we're saying to our listeners out there, Know what you're looking for. Know what you're looking for. If you're a man, ask yourself, what am I really looking for in a woman? What can satisfy me? And that's what we are saying, that the way you are being treated is what satisfies you. And the way you're being treated comes from the character of the person. It comes from how the person, you know, views life or, you know, carries his or herself. 
So we want to be treated well. Not to not to cut you in. Mm. I think the challenge here is that people do not know what they are looking for. Mm. Like you have said, mm. I mean, some guys will say, "I'm looking for African queen." I mean, I'm looking for a beautiful mm. lady that mm. I can show off to my friend. I mean, that I walk into a place and they go like, "Wow." Your mm-hmm. wife is, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, ladies will say, well, I have suffered enough in my life. I'm not hoping to get married and continue the mm-hmm. suffering. So they will look for a guy that has already, mm-hmm. I mean, have enough that is established, you know, hoping that their needs will be met. Some will say, you know what, I'm into media. I'm in this department. So I'm looking for a good-looking guy that can represent me well, that speaks well. Well, all those things are necessary. Mm -hmm. But I think until people come to a place where they know what they are looking for, even Mm -hmm. if it's right in front of you, you will not be able to Mm -hmm. find it. And not just what you're looking for. What you're looking for that can satisfy you. True. You, because you see, to be satisfied is one thing. I say to people, um, to when you look at a, a beautiful woman, it's like smelling the aroma of a food from a distance. You know, you say, wow, this food is going to taste nice. And then, you know, there's some food that when you smell the aroma, uh, when you eat it, you want to vomit. <laughs> Talk. Uh, because, you see, it, it, it doesn't taste like it doesn't smells It doesn't taste before. as a smell. So, yes. so what really satisfies you is eating the food, which in this case, eating the food is like relating with the person. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, being able to stay in harmony with the person. So you must find someone who can give you that satisfaction. Listeners, we want to go on a short break. We'll be back. Just stay right there on Brand Live Radio. Brandlive.co.za Making a bold statement yet blending into the surrounding suburbs of Melville, 27 Boxes is a realization of edgy design and practical implementation. A radical departure from the shopping malls of our generation, yet not a return to the high streets of our youth. 27 Boxes showcases the best of a shopping centre set in a garden, surrounded by the bohemian suburb that is Mulville. 27 Boxes Shop Play Eat Dramatic talk with myself, Bongani Drama. Bringing you insightful conversations on the Convo Corner, your latest celebrity news on drama attainment, and your latest fashion news on fashion fame. This is Bongani, Bongani, Bongani. And myself, Rose Rataka. Bringing you your latest news and sports updates. Every Wednesdays, 2 to 3 p.m. Only on www.brandlife.co.za. You're listening to brandlive.co.za. Hello, welcome back to Love and Relationship at Brand Live Radio Station. Um, I've been talking to uh, Amelia Ndon, my guest. My name is Ndon. We are speaking about matters of the heart, things that pertain to love and relationship. Um, before we went for break, we were trying to talk about how we found our true love. And um, in a few minutes, we want to look at some of the frequently asked questions. Myself and Emilia, we host events, you know, in the country. We've been to Pretoria, Cape Town, Durban, holding a love and relationship event. We do it once a month. If you want to find out details, you can go on our website, www.livingasoneevents.com. There you can come through, ask your questions, and we will answer. And you can also reach us for questions. You can send emails to livingasoneevents at gmail.com or you can send them to me at akandon at yahoo.com, A-K-A-N-N-D-O-N at yahoo.com. You can also reach me for questions on WhatsApp on 078-255-4517. So today we want to look at a few of the frequently asked questions. Like a question which um, someone asked, what is love with compatibility? And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, I try to illustrate things on a a practical base. So I I will say love with compatibility is like finding a beautiful shoe you love, which is your size. And love without compatibility is like finding a beautiful shoe you love and it is not your size. And if you forcefully wear it, it will definitely affect your feet and your movement. So, you know, it's one thing to find a beautiful thing you love. And uh, another thing is, is it your size? 
Because like in the case of a shoe, if it's not your size, how do you wear it? I, I see these ladies with the long heels and, you know. <laughs> I uh, think women and, can uh, relate well to that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, and you say your shoe is beautiful. She said, please, do you have a seat there? <laughs> because I'm, 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 this I'm thing dying. is killing my, my feet here. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've heard people, uh, a story where a man walked with his wife to some occasion and they went in there and the people say, wow, such a beautiful wife. He said, hmm. <clears throat> said yeah yeah i see management wife i see uh, he wasn't happy because uh the wife is not treating him well so it, it doesn't matter how beautiful a thing is if it doesn't fit into your life it can cause trouble in your life i think you can relate to that Amelia. very true very true i mean that shoe example mm -hmm. that you just uh, use makes a lot of sense because women that wear high heels can relate to that i mean the shoe is beautiful but it's painful as well you know mm. so it is one thing to be in a relationship but another thing is to be happy i mean are you happy but you see the thing is because people's um 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 are not real to what they are really looking for they put their want before their need mm. so it's challenging for them to know what they truly want. I mean, for example, if I'm looking for someone that can support me financially, it's easy for me to say that the guy that has money that I am with is the right person for me when the person is not because, I mean, it's friends with benefits. I mean, that's what happened these days, friends mm -hmm. with benefits. Mm -hmm. So, but it's very mm -hmm. important to know that mm -hmm. Satisfaction truly comes from the inner being, is, is beyond yes, the yes. outside, is beyond what mm -hmm. you see. I mean, the person that you will be interacting with every mm -hmm. single day yes. is the inner person, is the person that is on the inside, mm -hmm. not really the look of a person. Mm -hmm. So it's important to look at what or look for what will satisfy. Mm -hmm. And you see a, a lot of people say, I will change the person. Oh, to, true. To, women to fit women into, do that a lot. Uh, I, I don't know if you buy a, a shoe that doesn't fit you and you want to go and make it fit you. I, I think the shoe will change shape. No, I, I think you know, it's a very it's gonna look it's a challenging a, process. A little bit yes, obscure. Yes. <laughs> I mean, with, with human beings, it's even yeah. worse because you can't change people. Can't. I mean, in mm -hmm. fact, it's mm -hmm. difficult enough for God to change people, let alone another, another human, human being, trying yeah. to change. I mean, talking of character, this is what sets over time. A man is at his late 30s, early 40s, late 40s. How do you undo what they've learned for so many years? Mm. So I think it's easier to, to, to find someone that fits into your life that you don't have to change. Mm. I mean, uh, that doesn't mean there are, that there are no compromises. Mm. There are nothing that you can mm. try to, to, to get better at. But if you have to rechange the whole package of mm. a person, then there is a problem. Mm. And we said there are basic things that must be there. The basic things we said is your character and lifestyle must be compatible. If if you're someone who, you know, um, don't like lies and then you meet this person who just enjoys telling lies. And then, I mean, along the way you have problem, you know. Or, you know, you find some other person in lifestyle. There are people who may not like clubbing at all. They don't even like it. Or who and don't they meet, smoke. And they meet this person who likes clubbing. Um, smoking, yeah, some people say they can tolerate. Okay, okay. You know, but some, some lifestyle that, you know, you cannot stand it. You, can, you are not compatible with the person. And also, we talk about, yeah, spiritual um, compatibility, dreams and visions, you know. So what we're saying today is that you can find true love only if you know what you're looking for. And you can find that thing that can satisfy you. Then you can find true love. Because, you see, true love is simply that which satisfies you. And, um, you see, we will be wrapping up um, shortly. I, I would love to, you know, thank everyone who's been listening. This is Brand Live Radio. You can follow it on Twitter at Brand Live Radio. Facebook at www.brandlive.co.za Skype line 011-083-8606 Email info at brandlive.co.za And um, you can send in your questions, you can send in your comments and um, I believe we will always be here every Monday by 1pm. So tune in again next week, same time. I want to thank my guest, Emilia Andun, for coming. It's been a wonderful time talking <laughs> to you. you and me. we will continue the conversation at home. You know, <laughs> at least we stay together. So please, guys, I believe you can find true love and you will find true love. Thank you for listening.
Thank you. Brandlive.co.za Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za